The Lord be with you. I'm Deacon Keith Fournier, and our first reading is from the Book of Wisdom. For God created human beings to be immortal. He made them as an image of His own nature. Death came into the world only through the devil's envy, as those who belong to Him find to their cost. But the souls of the upright are in the hands of God, and no torment can touch them. To the unenlightened, they appeared to die. Their departure was regarded as disaster. They're leaving us like annihilation, but they are at peace. If, as it seemed to us, they suffered punishment, their hope was rich with immortality. Slight was their correction, great will their blessings be. God was putting them to the test and has proved them worthy to be with Him. He has tested them like gold in a furnace and accepted them as a perfect burnt offering. At the, their time of visitation, they will shine out. As sparks run through the stubble, so will they. They will judge nations, rule over peoples, and the Lord will be their king forever. Those who trust in Him will understand the truth. Those who are faithful will live with Him in love. For grace and mercy await His holy ones, and He intervenes on behalf of His chosen. But the godless will be duly punished for their reasoning, for having neglected the Lord. And our responsorial psalm is from Psalm 34. I will praise Yahweh from my heart. Let the humble hear and rejoice. Proclaim with me the greatness of Yahweh. Let us acclaim his name together. But Yahweh's face is set against those who do evil, to cut off the memory of them from the earth. They cry in anguish, and Yahweh hears and rescues them from all their troubles. Yahweh is near to the brokenhearted. He helps those whose spirit is crushed. Though hardships without number beset the upright, Yahweh brings rescue from them all. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. Jesus said, Which of you with a servant plowing or minding sheep would say to him when he returned from the fields, Come and have your meal at once? Would he not be more likely to say, Get my supper ready, fasten your belt and wait on me while I eat and drink? You yourself can eat and drink afterwards. Must he be grateful to the servant for doing what he was told? So with you, when you have done all you have been told to do, say, We are useless servants. We have done no more than our duty. The Gospel of the Lord.